The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're planning for buying or selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the Real Estate House Party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real Estate House Party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real Estate House Party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. Oh. Welcome and thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Party. And I am so honored. We got Christine back. a screw up we today. Yes. I'm you didn't so even get excited. your cue. I was so happy we got Christine back. I was oh, sure. very how excited. Gonna happen. It's exciting. She was just telling me um, how she had no plans to ever quit drinking. No. <laughs> what are you? What, what are there was that? a survey going around the table on when people stop drinking. Yes. And uh, you have no plans. None. Yeah. None yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. Nope. Right, no, None. no, you, you I got, don't have a problem. You got one in your flask. Yeah. Remember yep. we told the girl, and I know we, we belabor some stories, but we told one girl that just started working with us. I said, be careful, Kathy. She drinks a lot. She has, <laughs> she has a flask beside her. No, that I drink, I was addicted to Diet Coke. No, that, that, okay. You think whatever you want. <laughs> no. Yes, yes that's yeah, what that they was told what it was. Okay, call it Diet Coke. <laughs> no, but, but, so I always had a Diet Coke and, um, Rick told her that I put my booze in my yeah, diet, diet coke. Right, yeah, right. Nothing yeah. wrong with and that. She right. totally believed yeah. it. Sure. So she's I was sad. like, I don't know, very pregnant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, th- I think I had one diet coke a day. Maybe that's what's wrong. Y- yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she totally believed it t- for what a long time, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because we didn't. I love that. It. You, and you were pregnant, and you. Were- so Christine I was hammered. I was hammered. You you've been pregnant. No. A couple times. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is the time frame where you can touch someone's body that's pregnant? Never. Never. Oh. Never. Oh you God, ne- no. And Jimmy, I didn't do well on that rule. No. <laughs> no. And no. Rick you was always never afraid. Assume someone is pregnant. Oh, you never we ask. know that. We know, know that. Never go, you never go. My, when bro- you my do. brother taught right. me that one. Yeah. 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 Jimmy did it once at a party. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. He went up to this girl. He's so, like, congratulations. Oh. And she said, on what? And yeah. he said, the baby. She said, I'm not pregnant, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> my, mother, my mother-in-law yeah. actually did that to yeah. me. Yeah. I had just had Awful. Matthew, so I was a little bigger. Yeah. yeah. And she goes, oh, and there's your mommy um, having another baby. I'm like, no, oh, Matt's, that, only, Matt's that, only five months old. That was quick. Yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. No, yeah. oops. Yeah. I saw it happen in real life for the first time just last year, and I was mortified. It didn't happen to me. I just watched it unfold. The you guy, watched it happen. Yeah, the guy's yeah. like, oh, congratulations. When are you due? And she just looks right at him. She's like, I mean, I'm not. I'm just fat. Like, yeah. And it was just like, I wanted to crawl inside yeah. Yeah, myself. Yeah, like, that's awful. Oh, it's, my it's God. Awful. I, awful. When, awful. It, I didn't I, think it really happened yeah, in real life. People happen. are that stupid. I, 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 I've witnessed it. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. We had a, we had a closing yeah. way, way back. And the, the, girl, the lady was pregnant with triplets, right? Yeah. And I was so intrigued by this. Right. She comes, goes waddling out of the office. And I go, Rick, when are her babies due? And he goes... I don't know. I didn't ask her. I have a rule. Unless they're delivering in front of me, yeah, I am right. not yeah. going to. So really, I, said, right? I said, Rick, I, she's clearly having a million babies. No, no. <laughs> my, clearly. my brother yep. did it. Now, <laughs> he told me he was most, nothing phases yeah. my when brother. I used to, when I used to waitress at the Fridays, the TGI Fridays, I went up to a table one time, and clearly I thought she was pregnant. And it was her and her husband, and then they had a little guy in a, in a high chair. So with, I'm taking the order. I go, when's the big day? <laughs> So she looks at me and goes, what big day? Yeah. I said, this little guy's birthday. <laughs> ah, you got right out of it. Yeah. Very good. Good one. That's nice. a good one. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's actually yep. pretty good. Yep. When's the big day? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, how about no, this unless, one? Unless I'm tripping over an umbilical cord. Exactly. <laughs> so Rick, Rick, I unless they ask me to cut it at yeah, that point. I don't, I'm I don't moving take on. anything for that. Yeah. Do you remember when your whole office was like, I? so oh. one girl goes in and says, Rick, I have I something thought it was to a tell joke. you. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I'm, ha- I'm pregnant, and I'm like, shoot, I just lost my opportunity. Yeah. Next girl goes, my turn. Oh. She goes in, and she goes, and we're, I'll do like the same day. Oh you know, my right? God! Would you have an office Christmas party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, right around each other. Let's uh, backtrack nine months. months. Yeah. yeah. The next girl goes in, and by the time I go in, I was like half crying. And my it was Caitlin, I think, and it was like coming right off a different maternity leave, like very quick. Right. And he goes, What? Is there a candid camera around here somewhere? <laughs> and do I have to line you kids up to take your pill? I know. So was that right, Jimmy? I gave him contraceptives on the way out. Yeah, but that, actually, smart. at that point, it was that's way too late. Very yeah. smart. Yeah, yeah, way yeah. too late. Way yeah, too yeah. late. That, yeah, yeah. that horse is that, way yeah. out of the I used, get, of... I used to get knocked up every year at the fireman's ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after the ball. After, right. <laughs> Not Top during the ball. ball. Say, no, right, yeah. Right. After, remember, right? right? Right during the yep. salad? And it got to be pretty much. <laughs> sure. and it got, after I tossed it. And we got, it got to be so, yeah. we have such a reputation that every, every ball we would go to, everyone would be like, be careful. And I'd be like, oh, come on. This is, it's sure Jimmy's enough. big night. Yeah. Jimmy's big night. Yeah. I bought a red wig. <laughs> Get some Chianti in them and oh, it's yeah. going to be crazy. It's going to happen. Well, at least you can, uh, you know, you can narrow it down to a fireman. I can narrow it to, exactly. Yeah. Can narrow it down to a fireman. A fireman. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I'll tell one more uh, pregnancy joke. When uh, I went up to my friend and said, Congratulations. I heard, you know, your wife's pregnant. And she had told me, so I knew she I was. Totally she totally told you. She told me. There. I forgot to tell, tell him. him. Yeah. No. What? That, that was embarrassing. Yeah, he, he should goes, be what? at the top of that list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're divorced yeah. now. Yeah. I I was say, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus, that, that's talk about scandalous. awkward. The reason he didn't, she didn't tell him is because it probably wasn't his. No, I think it was because it was his fourth. And oh. you guys might have ran into this. First three were girls. Yeah. Yeah. And Try she was boy. too afraid to tell them that there might be po- the fourth was possibly a, a, a girl, girl again. A girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Isn't that terrible? That was awkward, boy. Yeah, nobody yeah. wants girls. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. I mean, just because they have their own hockey league now, it doesn't make yeah. it better. No, my God, from your mouth to God's yeah, ears, yeah, Tony. Yeah. Every time they show it, I'm like, oh, for the love of God. Another one. God. <laughs> why? Yeah, girls are tough. Why? Girls are uh, tough. Uh, what's your line? I'll, I'll extrapolate a little bit. First, you took away this, and now you are taking away our hockey league. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We're right. talking about the, the I know. gays. I, don't, <laughs> I won't tell the whole Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. That, that we don't want to trigger anyone today. No. So I no have. No triggering. So it's, it's the start of a new year, so I wrote all my goals down. My goal is to get through every one of our notes for the show. Oh. So. My goal is to not smell like fried food. Really? That's all right. I almost made it last year. <laughs> <laughs> you never smell no. like fried food. Somewhere around May, I found a clam never. in my pocket. I don't, I, I don't know how. It's stuck on you, my little empanada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, goals, Tony, is supposed to be serious. That's serious. Why? Yeah. Why should anything? You know, yeah. the sun's going to burn out in 430 million years. Why? Give a shit about anything. Yeah, exactly. You're right. You, ever, you, ever get <laughs> you know Tony, what I mean? You ever get Tony's v- voicemail? Uh-uh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not serious at all. No. If you want to leave a message. Go ahead. Well, if go you'd ahead. like. If you'd like to. Yeah. <laughs> go teach the world to sing. sing. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. I don't think I've ever heard that. Yeah, my, I'm not making that no, up. No, you no. Know, I love it's, that song. Yeah. I'd like to teach, teach the, the world, world to sing. sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Boy, I like that. Uh, Touche. Uh-huh. I seem to know this mm-hmm. voicemail message a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. You, so why do you sing like that attorney did? Hey, have you ever look at Tony? Simple he... file in Massachusetts. <laughs> look at Tony. He's Tony says, why, "Why aren't we doing real estate?" No, Any I don't rates change your show. Last talk? It's your show. I'm just here. All right, so uh, um, there's another right. the another man. myth when the. Um, All right, let me check these off as the, we're going through. When the um, interest rates are high, it's a bad time to sell the house. Uh, or buy a house. Or buy a house. Buy a house if it. But so, I actually think it's a great time to buy a house when the interest rates are high. I knew high. you were going to say that, and that's why I... Oh, why so is that? Smart. That's why I gave because, you that lot. Oh, that was like a softball. Right. Yeah, what, why? why? Because when interest rates are up, like when our parents bought, they, their rates were like 13%. 14%. My parents, 
first, second house was 16.9%. Yeah. And how much did they buy the house 79, for? 79, 63,000. There you go. Yeah. So the, the house value is going to go up. Mm -hmm. The interest rates are going to come down. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's you So know, you get more money? And then you're not competing as, with as many buyers as yeah. you want. Right. I think it's tit for tat, right? Have you ever heard well, that, tit for tat? Uh, or it's all that? relative? <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. I like tit for tat better. I like, yeah. I like what is it? Tit, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> You left I off, like tits. You, you left. I did. I'm a I fan. Said, well. <laughs> no objection down this end of the room. <laughs> so far, we're all in unison. Yeah. We are. <laughs> all right. So, and again, we're just going to fly through these. Uh, sellers should be allowed to meet their potential buyer before they sign the offer. No. 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 Because that might be a fair housing violation. Oh, yeah. Because they might Discrimination. say, they yeah. might Discrimination. say, oh, I bought because he looks just like me. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Or no, no. I didn't want to sell it to him because right. he doesn't the, look, he doesn't look, look like, like me. me. Yeah. All right. So, exactly. So there's one. Can't do that. Uh, no, no. No, no. And this relates to this. We might have thrown this out before, but uh, you cannot be sued if you ask that same client that comes in that you're meeting, uh, where are you from? Can't. No. Nope. Can't, can't ask. Even if they don't speak English. You can't Does ask? No. Well, no. So a broker got sued about that. Cause, yeah, no. Because this is a tenant situation. The tenant, potential tenant said, she's discriminating against me because she wants to know where I live and whether, you know. So And it really wasn't that. She was just really asking him, how yeah. are you doing? Like you can't like, advertise you can't have a conversation. close to St. Yeah, Marie's Catholic Church. You can't advertise, like... Um, you can say a great school district, right? You yeah. can't say which school district. Yeah, you can't do uh, you can't do puffing anymore. You know, ever hear yeah. puffing? puffing? Yeah. This is the best school system yeah. in the world. Judge Judy talks about it all the time. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, puffing. that's interesting. Yeah. So you know, that's I think that's illegal in Massachusetts. Is now. it dirty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's totally illegal. Of course it's dirty. That's uh, why right. it's illegal. Uh, okay. It depends on which side of the equator you're uh, on. I see. If, you, um, if a broker gets caught puffing or accused of puffing yeah. and is found guilty, the fines that yeah. go along oh. with those yeah. with discrimination puffing. or puffing are yeah. Yeah, yeah. like $100,000 really? a uh, violation, right? right. So right. you could have five violations in that one. So you can't ask anything about anything. No, you can ask anything. Except, do you have the money to buy this house? <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? Right. Yeah. And you can't, you can't tell a, buy, a potential buyer why the seller's moving. Right. Or selling the house. You can't say, oh, well, they're going through a bitter divorce and, or they're, they're, they've, well, already, they've already moved. Well, that, that does yeah. make a lot of sense. Yeah, because so it changes the, um, the, the, the dynamic. Changes well, the, sure. then the, the buyer might say, oh, they're dying to get out of there. I can get. So I this get, is why I when we talk about more. our staging show, which we might have to get Christine back for this one, this is why in, when you're staging a house, you're not supposed to have all the, the wife's clothing in the, in the closet. Yeah, so when you get a divorce from your husband, bring, say, can you just leave bring your clothes all, bring here, all your clothes back for a little while? Right. Really? Yeah, because they don't want to look like, you know, you're in a distressed situation. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, Pretty good. Yeah. What if I like to wear women's clothes? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't tell anyone. You can't that. ask that either. <laughs> Can't ask. That's a very good point. You can't say to me, where did you get that skirt? <laughs> Sir, why why is there women's clothes on both sides yeah. of the closet? Yeah, yeah, and do you really think business. that, and and you really think that Scott business. goes with that yeah. dress? Mm -hmm. not, if you're being helpful, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, we've talked about great, Jimmy. Yeah, that's a great Crowley. question. You guys answer it then. He, no. So, if you're so asked, question is what? If <coughs> if somebody is murdered. killed, murdered, or died in the are house, you, are you allowed? Are you, should you voluntarily give that information? No, only is if you're asked directly. Okay. Um, so if you you know you know you're a broker in town and you know you know that somebody was murdered in that house, right. you don't you should not give out the information right. unless you are asked specifically about yeah. that. Right. You, accept, well, you have to, have to answer truly. You can't lie, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> like it's like almost you, like having water in the basement, right? right? And the broker knows it, but she can't offer that to the agent, the other agent, or potential buyers really? unless right. they ask specifically. Have they unless had it's water? A material. If it's something that would materially affect the brokers, are held to a different standard. So if there's a material effect to it. 
there might be a different standard right. Right. before, like, before right. a seller like themselves. Say, is that a blood stain I'm <laughs> stepping over? And then you can say, why do you ask? <laughs> right. Why is there an outline of the previous <laughs> owner? Right. A chalk outline. Right. What, what kind of games do you guys play at night? And sometimes a game of Twister around here gets out of hand. <laughs> but we love our game Why nights. is there caution tape on yeah. this room that we're about to go into? Is that police car here 24 hours a day? <laughs> Uh, so this uh, is, uh, we actually had, speaking of the, uh, we had actually in Wakefield, neighboring town, uh, they had uh, supposedly a haunted house. It was showcased on one of those. Right. I the, think you had mentioned yeah, that. Yeah. So they actually. So people are so buying it because it was a haunted so house. So the broker was smart enough. He says, we better get this word out here, you know, even if we're not asked, because they're going to see this all over. Right. The, that so is. that's why I try to tell brokers, don't be See, some, one of a kind. Yeah. Haunted yeah. house for sale. <laughs> yeah. $1.9 yeah. million. On dollars. On. When, whenever people get into the haunting thing. I, you know, uh, the ghost, I say, look, I live on Bunker Hill. Right, right. You know, arguably one of the bloodiest battles. Right, in, a right. massacre. A massacre right. in, in American history. Right. You'd think I'd be tripping over ghosts at <laughs> night. Right. You, know, you probably you are. You don't know any. You'd think I'd be sitting there going, hey, General Warren, you got a match? I got I to gotta <laughs> light my cigar over here. That would actually be kind of cool. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. that would yeah. But I, I know, say that all the you time. You know the Warren it's, Tavern is the oldest tavern in Massachusetts, I think. I think in the in the country. It could be. It's one of the most famous taverns in the yeah. country. Yeah. Yeah. They think that might be haunted. That's what I, I heard that. But they ha- didn't like all kinds of presidents go there. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. I think they have good uh, mimosas there. Well, that's why you go. <laughs> they, get, they have good wings. You're not and great. Good wings. Wings. No, yeah, they have You're great not there wings. for the history Dry of all this, right? Is that far from Lemon you. Pe- no, right down the bottom of the street. Wow. Yep. But getting home is a different story. Yeah, it's uphill. You got to walk up that hill. Yeah. It's uh, uphill. Yeah. And it's yeah. not. We haven't done that race in a while. Where we run by your house and. Tony sits out front while I'm, I'm about us. to have a heart attack. And he's there, oh, smoking his cigar. Oh, yeah. yeah. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? He's, <laughs> he's videotaping me because yeah. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> Tony, I hate to bring up a sore subject. Did Please. you ever get Elvis back? No. Yes. Oh, I thought no. you did. Nope. I got him back the Once. first time. Oh. And then he was gone the second and, uh, and never, never get, to never return. Back. Listen, if you now, are listening out there, please yeah. bring the Elvis back. Now on my stoop, I have uh, a gnome giving Billy Joel the finger. <laughs> right. Might be better than Elvis. Yeah, yeah. it's got a, a smaller profile. <laughs> and why not? Why would? Why would and not? Why and not? that's and how much not? you hate Billy Joel. I, d- I dislike I Billy Joel immensely. Just, you're right. Yeah. That's why we get along so. Yeah, now, did, did this gnome come with Billy Joe there? Is no, it no, it was oh, a you... tableau I, I oh, set up okay, myself. I, was say. I got them, I I got them sure separately. A, was... Someone gave me a bobblehead of Billy Joel as a okay. gag. Okay. And my buddy Lou and Topper of and Topper Painting, yeah, yeah. not an official sponsor, uh, <laughs> gave me a. Uh, yeah, don't a, offend a our little, regular sponsors. Yeah, no, a garden gnome. Uh, given the finger. Okay. So now I have him facing Billy So you have Joel. a little vignette. Although somebody yeah, yeah. once looked at it and said, why do you have Vladimir Putin playing the piano? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I got nothing for it. I got, I got nothing. I'm a big Tchaikovsky fan. Big That's all I said. Tchaikovsky. Huge. Huge in the Tchaikovsky. Uh, did they really say that? They yeah, got... said that. I was, they thought Billy Joel was uh, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. This is what I'm dealing with. Uh, this is why you can't sell a house. It's why there are people like that in the world. They're not anchored. They're just there. Okay. Yeah. He didn't learn his but lesson. They're, yeah. But they're a little, I have them a little bit more hidden now. Yeah. So they keep me company when I'm smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Giving Billy Joel the, the finger. <laughs> now, don't be making fun of him. I'm That's not, his only not, friend. You know what I love about Tony? Tony, if Tony is displeased with someone, I always am like, yeah. Yeah. He, and you know You're it. You're 100% correct. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a Tony, very good Tony judge of character. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaks the truth. He speaks the truth, and he's, yeah. he always he's always right. And he sifts through a lot of stuff. He does. He sift looks like he's just a playful little fun guy doesn't here. He? Look out doesn't he? Everybody's crazy uncle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I did a show. I did a show on uh, Nantucket not too long ago, and 
it was mostly young people, and you know, it, it's always dubious or yeah. whatever. Yep. And afterwards, I had literally a half a dozen people, young women mostly, come up to me and go, you know, you remind me of my granddad. You remind me of my <laughs> oh. crazy uncle Eddie. You remind me. I go, I know. I know exactly I, what I, I'm I, doing. I, don't, yep, right? I know exactly That's what I'm what doing. I'm selling. You're not surprising me. No. You remember nope. the show you did in Boston? You were doing, there was a mixed crowd, younger, you know, uh, people are, and uh, you started doing some Beverly Hills uh, references. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had yeah, to, yeah. actually had to sit on the stage and ask some of the younger people if they knew and explain. Do you know who, who was. Beverly Hills? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I, I think I, I should uh, hand out a syllabus before my act. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. They, required reading that's to get not, these that's jokes. Not a bad yeah. idea. No, I think you. Or, you right, or you page. should have age requirements to yeah. come into your show. Well, somebody yeah. had like a six-year-old at a show the other day. And I go, <sighs> you know, I don't say anything Sick. that's... I thought the 17-year-old at the no, show the other day was... No, there was young. literally two, and, and maybe one younger. I mean, like four, eight, five, six. Like Were that. they American? Yeah, or I think oh, so. so they, they got were, your jokes then. No, I... Well, seven's my cutoff. <laughs> <laughs> In many things. In many things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good point. Well, back Thank to last you. week's show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I had, I had someone do that to me at, the, uh, at a show one time at a resort up in... Uh, New Hampshire at breakfast the next morning, you know, yeah, to yeah. stay over yeah. at the Balsams. And uh, I was in line for breakfast, and a woman goes, really enjoyed your show last night. I go, thanks. She goes, my nine-year-old love you. No. Yeah. I go, oh, that's great. She goes, my seven-year-old, not, not so, so much. Not so much. <laughs> I go, yeah, that's usually where the, the cutoff that's is. That's usually <laughs> that's the cutoff, right when, around there. When I started doing comedy, they used to book me as the funniest mom in America. Yeah. yeah. So you can't believe the amount of people that brought their kids Oh, yeah. they, they thought it was for a kid's As show. you're talking about how you yeah. got your ring. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. And how you, got no, yeah. how you got Brendan on the football team. Kids, yeah, yeah. Ever, have you ever heard of anal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I do do yeah. kids shows. Yep. It's, it's, un, it's unpleasant, but I guarantee you'll get a new vacuum. <laughs> A both, vacuum? Both, both ways. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm yeah. not doing it for a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it. Not, not for a vacuum? I'm in a vacation. <laughs> it's nice. it's you, nice you have your limits, well, right? Kathy, where is your limit? <laughs> in there. between the two. <laughs> right there. If you're not giving me money. Not even, not even, not even a Dyson. <laughs> no, I already have a Dyson. How about one of those remote ones? No, that does everything I, have that. I already have that. A Roomba. A Roomba. If Roomba. you could buy me a car. Okay. One year, one year, she took her wrath out on the on the uh, office because she. We said, "What's the matter?" She goes, "I got a present from my husband uh, for Christmas." I go, "What's the problem with that?" It was a bucket. In it, was a, it was Valentine's Day, and it was a diaper pail. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing, wow. nothing says love like a diaper like, pail. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. And the little imperial, um, those little heart candies that are disgusting, probably <laughs> the last candy left on the shelf at 8 o'clock on Valentine's night. <laughs> I'm sure night. it was. I'm sure. Yeah. And yeah. some yeah. harlequin yeah. romance. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. I, w I wanted to shove everything <laughs> so far up his, you know what? Yeah. Uh, I, sure, uh, talk about anal. I took it, <laughs> Happy Valentine's. I took it like a champ. Love you. Love but, you. Um, <laughs> those are oh, all very practical things. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have known. <laughs> and you're, st you're still like with this, this guy. Uh, no, no. Oh, no. Kicked him to the curb. No, good right. for you. Yeah. Good for you. I got, what do you think? I'm stupid? <laughs> I got my oil changed one year. Hey. Hey. Not my personal one <laughs> on my Grand Prix. Remember, you, I wanted, I, we were dating, and it was my birthday, and I said, what are you getting me? What are you getting me? So he said, oh, you'll see. <laughs> Change my oil. I'm like, thanks. I mean, oh, it, was that, it was Valvoline, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh right. don't oh, minimize God. it. Oh, those are the worst. Jimmy, Jimmy, were they snow tires? Jimmy is perfectly practical. Nothing. No, they were wearing snow tires. Nothing All right. says All right. love like stale belted radio. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. As they, as they drive over and you, you for the present. You can't use that as a present yeah. because you need those tires. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That, a, a present a is point. a want. A, a present a is a want. That's a good, yeah. A present yeah. is a want. I love driving See? Oh, will you hear this? Cut the oh, crap. Wow. wow. Oh, my God. No, because. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I said the honestly, only get Jimmy on for this. I know. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> yeah, a, a present is a want. It's, it's like, like my brother-in-law nice drops pajamas or, or nicest guy in the diamonds. world. Diamonds. Their kids give him uh, Lowe's gift certificates so he can go around and fix the I house for that, them. Isn't that nice? Right. Yeah. No, that's not right. Yeah, of course it is. I love what Jimmy Colleton says Father's Day is kids chipped in and got him a nose hair clipper. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what a way to say you couldn't be any grosser. <laughs> Listen, I, I got one for Christmas. And I couldn't be happier. Right. Couldn't be happier. You've been looking wonderful since then. I, am I a, think every man should have a nose hair clipper <laughs> and a magnifying glass on their bathroom hey, hey, vanity. Hey. Oh, I thought, I, yeah. I thought, I thought we were going we somewhere going. else. <laughs> that too. That too. I, uh, objects uh, objects yep. may appeal larger. <laughs> and sometimes they don't. Or closer. <laughs> or, closer. <laughs> or, or, or appear unwelcome. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Uh, I can't even. <laughs> so, Christy's not coming on for a couple months. All right. right. So, I'm going to be yep. quick here. I'm going to be quick. Quick. Uh, do you or do not need a home inspection for a condo or new construction? Um, no. no. I'm saying yes. You do. I'm going to argue with you to just, sure to be a, just to be a just to be a dummy. New construction. We've never argued before. Go ahead. New construction. I guess you would. It's, it's not like a typical home inspection, but you you got to see if the guy put it up right. Uh, right, per, I yeah. would think. All right, so yeah. I can see your point. Yeah, yeah. So and it's not like checking. Um, but the thing is, the walls you, in. Yeah, but you want to check to see if the utility, you know, the water heat is working and. Uh, we you know, didn't have like one that. with our house. I know. Yeah. Without. Who had a water? In, who has a a water heater or in their anything, condo? You know. So. Uh. <laughs> you should. He's saying you should, you should have one. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. And and what you shouldn't do is have your uncle do it. You should have. A, yeah, that, that's uh, a yeah. good point. A registered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah licensed exactly. professional. One, licensed one professional. lady ha- was trying to sue the seller and. Rick goes, well, did you have a home inspection? She goes, no, my uncle came over. <laughs> and it was the neighbor selling it to her. I go, oh, that's going to be so great neighbor down yeah. the road. The oh, block yeah. parties. still going to live next to each yeah. other? Yeah, the yeah, block yeah. parties, yeah. I'm yeah. sure, are wonderful. Yeah, they're wonderful. Oh. Yeah, that, Shooting oh. firecrackers that, at that, each other. Oh. That fence grew pretty yeah. high after that wow. closing. Wow. All right, wow. you do not, yes or no, you do not need a smoke detector certificate if it's a cash deal. No. You do need one. You, do you need, need one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mr. Smoke Detector over there. I know. I know. I, that's, that's where why he gets I wasn't all looking the fried, at him. He was, fried chicken. Yep, he did that. That's right. He, that's where he gets his. Yep. <laughs> that's exactly right. Oh, here's for you, Kelly. We already did that. We can record duplicates. Uh, nope. No. No. Best Either time to original. call an attorney is after the offer is signed. Nope. No, no before, so, way before. Yeah. Way Look before at you, Tony. Get your team, no. get your Tony's team in just place. Not, I told you that in the beginning. He's not just a pretty face, no. especially with the nose hair clipper. Yeah. Look at Ooh. Me. Completely He's, trimmed. Yeah. Once All adjustable again. rates are the same. Nope. 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 Uh, applying for a loan kills your credit. No, no, but it, it, it does it, a bit. it does bang it down um, a little bit. A couple, Don't a couple. get nervous. She's still going to apply the for the loan. But the thing is, if you loan. make your if you make your pay, your mortgage payments on time, it'll go right back up to where it was. Right. Oh, uh, a, a home inspection always covers everything. Nope. Nope. Okay. Because I had a home inspection and the guy was too old to go on the roof. He was afraid of heights. He didn't like the roof. No. Yeah. yeah. So his Are inspection you- was this high. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But yeah. The basement yeah. was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> your oh my your God. Wayne's coating is fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should always buy the worst house in the neighborhood. Yeah. That has some merit. Unless if you But you got to remember, it's the worst house in the neighborhood. So However, have you'd be... have to have some money to yeah. Yeah. fix yeah. it up. Oh, fix yeah. it up and have it go, be with, like, keep up with the Joneses. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. You can't buy a house with bad credit or down payment that's lower than 20%. Not true. Not true. Or if the home needs repair work. Not, Not true. true. Okay, because there's loans for all that. You, you what kind of loan is it? Renovation 203K loan. Or Ooh. FHA. Or FHA loan. Yeah. Don't be, don't be. Showing know, off. Yeah, you're showing I'm off showing at off. this point now. I, I'm showing off, okay? All right, we're doing good. We're on a roll here. VA, we did a VA. Yeah. Did you? But you'd have to be you're a veteran. You're a veteran? You have to be a veteran. Oh. I am a veteran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am a veteran, all right. <laughs> Were you discharged dishonorably? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> me and the peach. Now, let yeah. me ask you, uh, can someone assume that loan? 
A VA yes. loan. Yes, there you go. So that is the only assumable loan out there. Right. So there's another What does assumable that, mean? Uh, you can, some buyer can take it over if they're qualified to take on that loan. And not be a veteran? Um, no, I would think they have they to, be have have to be a veteran as well. But it means that they don't have to get a new loan new and loan. start over. So, so that it, was in 96, Jimmy? Wendy Lane? You still 96. have a VA loan on your property now? No. Because you, you guys are doing pretty good now with... Uh, oh, yeah. I'm printing money. No PMI. Oh, now you're showing up. <laughs> now you're yeah, showing up. That was, and we were broke. We were by the skin so of So you had less than 20% and you were able to buy anyway. So there goes no, that. No, we yeah. didn't have to put anything down. I've... Oh, VA, you didn't have to put anything right, down. Right, and we were right. upside down in the house we owned. We owned a two-family that okay. we were. Now, with a VA loan, you have to make sure it appraises out or yep. they won't go ahead with the loan, which they want to take care of the veteran. Remember, and, that happened to us. And with veterans, they, they are protective. They want to make sure the house, you know, a lot of times they'll ask them to do certain repairs. Right. Mm-hmm. Railings, They're very painting. particular on railings and yeah. stuff. Ah, interesting. So let's see. I don't. This is a good one. Uh, if my if my attorney's reviewing the agreement, I don't need to look it over. Absolutely not. Think, you better right. be looking at what your attorney's right. looking at. Sometimes you you have agreed to something with your buyer or seller that you didn't tell us. Um, I I can or cannot Photoshop the M- M- MLS, MLS pictures so you know how they take. No, pictures. you cannot do that. Right. Unless, okay, unless it's for unless it's for items like you know. MLS though. It, it, well, you, it's a it's a multiple listing service. Yeah, but you can do probably you know the the skyline, you know the clouds. And you can probably do that, but you, you can't probably do the can't house. put the Empire State Building in the background <laughs> or take it out. Right? <laughs> huh. No. So yeah. you, the answer is no. You can't. All do that. right. Uh, here's here's one for our legal experts. We're doing pretty good here. The buyer did not give a check when they signed the offer, so buyer thinks there's no deal because there was no consideration given. Nope. Right. So, uh, verbal, cons- if you yeah. consideration, verbal. Get, no, well, no, uh, but then you sign the offer. You sign the offer. Consideration can show up in different forms right. other than just a contract. Right. I mean, a check. Yeah, a check. So, by taking the house off the market, that might have been consideration. Oh, yeah. All right. Lead paint forms can uh, given, be given at any time to a buyer. Nope. Nope. They should be given at the offer stage, probably. Right. Uh, we already talked about that one. If, uh, if, if a buyer's or a seller's renovating his house to sell the house, we We've already talked about this. Finds remains, because this just happened in Winchester. Finds remains in the walls. Oh, my oh. God. Is, are they supposed to disclose that? That'd be hard. Uh, no, yeah. unless they're asked, asked. Yeah. directly. Well, yeah. Did you find remains in, your, in right, the house? Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's... Uh, you, you can Top of the can list of questions. <laughs> 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 question one. <laughs> are, those, are there any remains in the wall? <laughs> in question two, are those your dresses right. in the closet, <laughs> right. Tony? Just want to know. Wait, All right, we got to wrap this up. Right, one more. This do is a good one. Do you mean human it. remains? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you mean by remains? Remains. Um, what if it's not decomposed yet? <laughs> yeah. All right, two more and we're done. No one. Two. This no. is important. Can you sell a property uh, with a failed Title V certification? No, you can't. No. no. You can. No. Uh, yep. What? Oh yeah, you, you can. Should. We did what we just yeah, did yeah. one. You got to do, uh, yeah. You got to make arrangements with the buyer, seller, town, and all but that. But some most lender. lenders, um, yeah, they may do require. Not, yeah, yeah. So not, you got to deal yeah. with their own. And here's a last one. Uh, seller has no legal obligation to deal with natural accumulation of snow or ice. So in other words, if someone slips out in front of you, no, they do have an obligation. Okay, that's they do. Uh, <laughs> we wow. weren't fighting you on that Jeez. one, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy is, we're not fighting. I was this just thinking. Just, this is just a give and take between yeah. us here. I was just thinking. Of All right, that. Yeah, I think Maybe we better wrap this up because yeah. it's getting hot and heavy yeah, up here on the panel. Thank you. Some competition fair- going on. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. What an all-star crew here. Fantastic. Tony V. Yes. Kathy Holtzauser. Christine Hurley and the one and only Jimmy Hurley. Oh, Thanks for joining yeah. us here. See you, see you next week. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.